Hi, you're probably watching this video because you received one of these eye health COVID-19 antigen tests from the Boston Public Health Commission. I'm Katherine Hall, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use this test. So the first thing you do is you open the box and you lay out all the pieces. You're going to have two tests in each kit. These pieces here are the pieces of the kit that you're going to use to read the results of the test. These, and you can see through them in the packages, are the nasal swabs that you're going to stick into your nostril, into your nose, and swirl around to really get a good sample of what's in your nose. So we have two of these, one for each test. And then finally, we have the tubes, the reaction tubes that we're going to use, and we're going to put the swabs in here once we're ready to go. So the first thing on my instructions says, collect the sample. And to collect the sample, I'm gonna take the skinniest long package, which is this one, and it's called the specimen collection swab. That's just a fancy way of saying the Q-tip. Now opening this, you don't want to touch the top of the Q-tip with your bare fingers. The cotton swab is at the top, and this is the side without the cotton swab that I wanna open up. So I'm gonna open that really carefully. I'm gonna pull it out. And now I'm gonna do step number two, which is collect the sample. It says to stick that up my nostril and swirl it around five times. First, I'm gonna do my right nostril five times, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna switch to the other nostril. Now I'm ready to put this into the reaction tube. And what you wanna do is you want to tap the tube vertically on a table and twist the large orange cap to open the tube. So I'm going to tap the tube. I think what that does, it brings all the liquid down to the bottom. There's some liquid in the bottom. And in case when it's been traveling about in the box, some of the liquid's gone up on the edge, you want to bring that down to the bottom. Then I'm going to unscrew the top of the cap like this. And I'm just gonna hold it, but I think you can set it aside, not a big deal. And now I'm gonna take this Q-tip and I'm gonna put it right into the bottom of the tube. And if you look closely, you can see that it's sitting in the liquid there. And I'm gonna mix it around a little bit. It says stir 15 times. Then you're going to squeeze the sides of the tube. So this squeezing business, what am I doing? I'm trying to get every drop off this cottony bit as I pull it out, squeezing it, squeezing it. And now I'm gonna pull this out and now I'm gonna close it. Screw back the large orange cap, put the swab back into the package. So you put that back into them. We're gonna discard this very carefully. And now I'm going to prepare my test card. This is my test card. I'm just going to open it like that and then I'm going to pull it up. Now it says twist to open the small white cap of the tube and add three drops of the sample. This is not my sample. It has all that stuff from inside my nose and I'm going to unscrew the cap and I'm going to put three drops in the part at the top that says three drops. Let's take a look at this. It has a section that says three drops and then it says 15 minutes. And so I'm gonna just take my sample, that's the sample from my nose, and I'm going to put three drops right there on the part that says three drops. Here we go, one, two, three. And that's it. So I'm gonna wait 15 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer right now. It's really important that when you do this, you don't read it too soon because it doesn't have time to develop and you don't read it too late because if you read it too late, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna be not correct. You really need to wait the 15 minutes and then read it. Once the 15 minutes is up, we're gonna read the results. There's going to be two lines that you're looking for. 
One is a test line and one is a control line. The C or the T. C means control. And what does that mean? That means it's just testing to make sure this kit works. The T line, if you see a, if you see a line emerge on the T, that means you have a positive test. What you can see here is there is a line under the C, but no line under the T. That means I am negative. If you get both lines, you get the C and the T, both the control and the test are positive. The T means that the test is positive. I hope that this was helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions. You can go to boston.gov, call 311, or call the Mayor's Health Line at 534-5050.